Hello everyone, and welcome to the Quantpedia Explains Trading Strategies video series. Today, we will speak about the pairs trading and statistical arbitrage strategies. Hello everyone, my name is Radan Vodko and I'm CEO of Quantpedia. Today we will discuss statistical arbitrage and pair trading strategies. Statistical arbitrage and pair trading uh, or arbitrage strategies are uh, fairly popular and um, as you can see they are employed on a lot of the different markets in equities, bonds, commodities, uh, FX, etc. So let's firstly explain what the statistical arbitrage is. Statistical arbitrage or sometimes called STATAR is a class of short-term financial trading strategies uh, that usually employs mean reversion models. We have broadly diversified portfolios with hundreds or thousands of securities and we held these securities for a short period of time and the strategy requires significant mathematical computation. Signals are usually based on mean reversion principle. Very simple, but often use also other factors like lead leg effects, uh, corporate activity, short-term momentum, etc. etc. In this case, it's usually called a multi-factor that are. But in this uh, video, we will do just simple first trading, so we will show how the first trading. What is the first trading? The first trading is a class of arbitrage or statistical arbitrage strategies. Usually the, um, employed in equities, but we can employ the first trading or first trading models in other assets, such as commodities, uh, ETFs, etc. etc. What does the pair trading mean? For example, we select two securities that are highly correlated. When one security temporarily weakens, one stock moves up while other moves down. The pairs trade means that they will short the outperforming stock and long the underperforming one. So we are betting that the spread between the two stocks would eventually come uh, convert. So how does it look like? So let's get an image. So we have a two stocks, stock A and stock B. And as you can see, the, the equity curve or the performance of stock A and stock B is highly correlated, but it can happen from time to time. Uh, that the, the spread between both stocks temporarily divided so stock A outperforms and stock B, stock B uh, can underperform. So in this case, uh, we will short the stock A, we will buy the stock B and we hope or we, from the statistical standpoint, we believe that the spread will get back to normal. Where we can find an example with the trading code? Of course, you can find an example with the trading code on uh, Quantpedia. So we have a strategy called pairs trading with stocks, with the description, with the fundamental reason, why the strategy is working, with links to all of the academic research papers uh, that are related to uh, this uh, type of the strategy. Example that uh, we have in Quantpedia that is available for free, trade uh, the stocks and the rules are simple. We invest in universe that consists of stocks from NISA, Amex and Nasdaq markets without the liquid stocks. We need to calculate the cumulative total return index. Then we are trying to look for pairs between the stocks. So we look for matching partner for each stock and that partner is found by looking for the security that minimizes the sum of square deviations between two price series, so between two stocks. So we are not using the correlation, but we are looking for the minimal sum of square deviation between two stocks. Now we select top 20 pairs that have the smallest historical distance between them, and then we trade them. The long short position is open when the pair prices revert by two standard deviations, and the position is closed when the price is mean reverted back to usual distance. It's a strategy that's based on a source paper from Gatteo, Goetzmann and Rovenhorst. It's one of the pillars of statistical arbitrage or pairs trading strategies, so I really recommend to uh, take a look on this paper. The paper is backtested on uh, sample 1962-2002, but we have a backtest that's uh, up to date. So how does the up-to-date backtest look like? Uh, we can see that the strategy is highly significant, performing nicely. So a lot of the other papers that are related to pairs trading, we do not need to use just the measurement that we use in this uh, trading strategy. We can use correlation, we can use co-integration, we can use Kuru's exponent, etc. etc. So there are many papers and many ideas of how the pairs trading strategy can be built and we are linking to all of the papers that are showing uh, those ideas. Uh, I will show you another strategy. In this we are building the pairs trading strategy with country ETFs. So instead of looking for stocks that are correlated, co-integrated or have a short distance between them, we are using the ETFs. The logic is nearly the same. So uh, we are using the 120 day formation period. Once again, the distance between the pairs of ETS is calculated as the sum of square deviations between two normalized price series. We select all five pairs with the smallest distance 
and once again we buy the underperforming ETF short the outperforming ETF in case when the distance between two ETFs broke the trade is exited if the pair mean revert or after 20 days so how does uh, the strategy look like as you can see the strategy is again performing well and not so correlated to pairs trading strategy that's built on the stocks as we can see we can build multiple pairs trading strategies or simple statistical arbitra strategies and uh, they will not be correlated uh, to each other because if each of them is built on different uh, investment universe so let's say etfs stocks commodities etc etc we can build nice diversified portfolio of uh, statistical arbitra strategies and have a better a better performing uh, portfolio thank you very much for your attention and i hope you will join me in the next video Interested? Then pick another video to learn more, or subscribe to Quantpedia Pro and try how our analytics and reporting significantly save time spent on quantitative research.